All right, y'all. Here is a quick, quick and dirty overview of the primates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the regular chart and I'm just going to add oh, a couple, a couple examples, right? So what we do have, what is cool about this chart is make sure you know this chart. Okay, it does, it does have all the important moments here, all the important kind of types and subtypes. And I think I'll just go through and um, talk about each in, in turn. So first, definitely have a good feeling for the general primate characteristics, right? Things like, hey, they're arboreal. I know, they live in trees, right? Fairly big brains, that kind of stuff. There's a big list there. But I'll, I'll leave that one up to you. More specifically, let's look at the prosimians first. The prosimians, there's, there's really three there, okay? There's the loris, the lemur, and the tarsier. The loris, some good examples of that are like, um, are, are like the slow loris and, and actually the bush baby. I think that's a, the bush baby is probably the best example of a loris. But the slow loris and the bush baby, those are, those are, great ones to use. Sometimes the slow loris is also called the slender loris. Um, they're very kind of, you find those a lot in, in Africa and into kind of equatorial old world area. Lemurs, lemurs equal Madagascar, right? If you're curious about the types of lemurs out there, I highly suggest the movie Madagascar. So this is like ringtail lemur, right? Ringtail lemur to me is the is the best example. You also have the shafak, which is uh, the name looks like it should be pronounced sifaka, but it's a shafak, and they're kind of the masters of vertical clinging and leaping. So we have loris, we have lemurs, and lemurs again the island of Madagascar off the coast of of Africa. Then you have tarsiers. Tarsiers are just really weird, really weird. If you want proof of aliens. Check out a tarsier. Tarsiers are mostly prosimians. See their little line that is, it's close to the prosimian world, but it's just, it's just off. So, so I, we used to put them in the prosimian world. Like this line used to just add them like that, but, but no longer. They're just different enough where their own, they're their own creature. But there you have it, prosimians. Of course, the simplest of the four categories. Now, over here in the anthropoid world, you have New World monkeys. You'll never guess where you find those. I know. New World, Amazon, and Central America, right? So, so that we're looking at equatorial forested regions. There's really two categories. The first category are marmosets and tamarins. They're known for having twins. Good examples. Probably my favorite is the pygmy marmoset. Those little teeny guys. Uh, those are really that really great example. Live in the tallest trees, way up on the skinny branches. We also have tamarins. My my favorite tamarin is the emperor tamarin that has the huge white mustache. Both of these um, are they're physically small. When you see photos of them, they you'll think they're a little bigger than they really are. They're 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 small like that. When you see them in person, you're like, whoa, they're smaller than I thought. So marmosets and tamarins, and then over here in the seabeds world, this is where you have what I would call the movie monkeys, the famous ones, the one the ones with the prehensile tail, right? The seabeds are like the uh, the um, spider monkey is probably the most famous of all. And you also have the capuchin. The capuchin is, I would say, the main movie monkey. The capuchin is in like Night at the Museum, if you know that one, right? That's a capuchin. I think I think Pirates of the Caribbean is a is a capuchin. Capuchins are also known for using medicinal plants. Pretty cool. Capuchins are great. So we have capuchins. We have spider monkeys. Howler monkeys are also seabids, right? They're the the sound they make. There's there's nothing like it it's it's uh almost 
spooky in the jungle when you when you hear it roll across the jungle. So those are them. All all pretty physically small. All spend a lot of time in the high high uh, parts of the trees. Old world monkeys. Now I don't have any anything specific down here because because there's just there's a lot of different types and varieties for our needs. Uh, the baboon. The baboon is the one you want to remember. There's there's subcategories like olive baboons and drill baboons. Sometimes I I clump those in and just call them regular baboons. So there's those baboons, and then there's gelata baboons. Gelata baboons have the longer hair. Gelata baboons scoot on their butt and eat grass. Baboons are quite complicated, quite complex. Gelata baboons will live in groups of like 400, right? That's a, that's a big deal. Remember in all this, uh, brain size equals group size. Small group, bigger group, right? Small brain, bigger brain. And we are going from smallest and, and most basic and most primitive to kind of most complex as we go. Um, other old world monkey types, the colobus. One of one of my favorites, and I I love the joke of calling it the the uh, calling the colobus the potato chip of the forest. And there's the macaque. The macaques known for the highborn lowborn groups. Uh, there's a lot of complexity going on here. Physically larger monkeys and baboons are quite big. Mm. Yeah, old old world centric of course africa kind of africa centric but a lot throughout asia as well finally that brings us to the apes now we just have lesser and greater apes right the lesser are the um gibbons and siamangs which are largely found in in kind of southeast asia in that world and then you have the greater apes what are there in the greater apes there are the orangutans the gorillas the chimpanzees, which also includes the bonobos. Bonobos are kind of a subcategory of chimps. And then finally, humans. Let's see, did I get everyone? Orangutans, gorillas, chimps, humans, yeah. The bonobos, yeah. Uh, apes, the greater apes have no, no tails. They're physically very large, big brains, really smart, right? And you can tell, you can tell, you can obviously tell the difference between apes and and everybody else on on this chart so there you have it. apes are very focused in uh, africa with the exception of the orangutan which is found in um, indonesia and and the island of borneo which is one of the main islands in indonesia and there you have it ye old chart of the primates and realize through all of this if you can organize through those four categories and understand the the different traits of each be able to remember a handful of examples of each you want to know all the apes i mean they're you know them anyway if i say chimpanzee you don't go chimp what what do you what is this thing you talk of kinkella you know you're you're cool with that so there you have it, the chart. <laughs>